tonight. Not too good, you old non-drinking ass motherfuckers. How y'all doing tonight? Yeah, that water's starting to kick in on y'all, huh? First of all, I want y'all to give me a big round of applause for being here. I'll tell you why. Because Michael Jackson couldn't make it. He's dead. Prince, dead. Older than both of them motherfuckers. So if y'all don't give me no applause for being here, I might not tell y'all some old people secrets. All right. All right, that's warm enough. You know, I've been around for a long time, and there ain't never been a time when you had to ask the crowd to clap and cheer for nobody. So y'all ain't being no different, okay? Say that sorry-ass motherfuckers. You said that. No, seriously, though. Hey, how many people in here are artists? Raise your hand if you're an artist. All of you. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't in no gay bar. There's a whole lot of hardhead looking motherfuckers sitting up in here, right? Y'all are good, though. Don't look away, because I know you ain't gay, right? I know you ain't gay, right? I don't know you, but I don't know you ain't gay, right? Somebody spit in my hand. <laughs> Hold up, y'all. Hold the fuck up. I'm like, dude, man, I don't like the taste of beer unless I'm the motherfucker drinking it, right? If it's going to be beer in the microphone, you know, at least I did it. Put a little salt on this shit. Squeeze a little lime. Because it's mine, right? But out here in public. In case y'all don't know, especially for you performers way in the back, my name is Papa Will, Mr. Y2K Associates. If you haven't heard of us, we're looking for you. Some of y'all might owe me money. Don't be scared. Anybody in here from St. Louis? St. Louis, Missouri? Anybody? Put your hand down, nigga. You know you're from Jamaica. Quit playing. Quit playing. The homie state? The homie state? Really? No, serious. Serious. You from St. Louis? 314? Yeah, okay. Okay. You know how old I am, right? I didn't want nobody to be here from St. Louis because... Might be somebody looking for me or something. Done send a nephew or grandchild out to find a nigga named Butch. If you hear anything, tell him it wasn't me. Tell him it wasn't me. Hey, if you're 50 years old and you up in this motherfucker, raise your hand. Give me some. Can I get some? Two? That's all I can get is two? You know 50 is the new 30, right? 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 New 30? Yeah, uh-huh. So if 50 is the new 30, what does that make 30? 10, right. Not old enough to be in this place. So all you, oh, no, it's too many of y'all. Y'all making up the room, man. God damn. Can't even put y'all out. Y'all want to hear some shit that your parents be thinking that you think they don't know about? They be fucking. Yeah, your parents, they be fucking. Not like when they was making you, but they be fucking. Yep, they're like me, you know. Kind of in touch with my feminine side, personally. I used to have tits, now I just look pregnant. You know, shit happens after about 40. You know, you start getting old people disease and shit. Start forgetting stuff. Forget where you at. What did they say the name was going? Okay, money play. Give it a big round of applause for money play, y'all. Come on, give it up. And where's Philip? Where's Philip? Phil, Phil, fill up the tip jar. Where's he at? Fill up the tip jar. Where's he at? Motherfucker has y'all to give tips. He ain't even bring out no tip jar. That means we can keep all our nickels and dimes in our motherfucking pockets tonight, can't we? But really, though, I was born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, you ain't never been there. Good thing. It's a great place to be from. Because you get hard in California, in, you know, in St. Louis. I couldn't wait to escape. I ran away from home when I was 20. Yep, sure did. Ran straight the fuck away. My mama said, Butch, where are you going? I said, I'm running away, and I ain't never coming back. She said, yeah, sure. Just make sure you're here in time for dinner. I'm like, yeah, sure. She don't believe me. When my mama would get mad, she'd call me William. Y'all know why, right? I had one of them on and off, on and off kind of daddies. You know, he'd be on our house one day, and he'd be on her house the next day and shit. 
swore me to secrecy, took me out to meet this white woman in this park, brought her daughter, so he brought me to keep her company. Yep, I've been, I've been, a, <laughs> I've been, a, <laughs> I've been a backup flyer all my life, you know. But I want to tell y'all really what I do. What we do, and that's my part, and I'm going to blame it on her because I don't need none of you motherfuckers running up to me trying to jab me in the neck with your CD talking about you're going to be the next platinum artist and shit. That's why I moved to Vegas. I'm from Northern California where we were the largest live local entertainment company in the Bay Area. Bay Area, Bay Area. Now that's a great place to go visit, especially if you want to smoke some real weed. Raise your hand if you buy your weed at the dispensary because it's legal. Great. I'm, I, I really like y'all now. Let's, let's get some power shaker going on now, you motherfuckers. Y'all ain't no goddamn pot smokers. Y'all are not pot smokers. But you know, now that it's um, legal to be gay and you can get a marriage license and you can buy weed at the government weed store, yeah, the government weed store. They done figured out how to get that shit ingested down your throat that when those nanites come back together, you get flashes that you high because you know goddamn well that government weed ain't getting you high. Ain't no such thing as getting no DUI from smoking no government weed, is it? Damn right, because you ain't high no way, huh? Yeah, nigga say, I'm going to go get me a dime bag. And a bottle of 2020, I'm going to be fucked up, dude. I'm going to be fucked up. Nigga, how about you buy three bottles of MD 2020 and really get fucked up? Because that government weed is not designed to get you there. I'm a social terrorist. Any of y'all got Facebook? Yeah, I'm a Facebook jail parolee myself. Came here on vacation. Stuck here on, va on probation. I ain't lying. I got an appointment on the 13th of this next month anymore. Anybody else in here on probation? No? You? Me and you, we got, we got love. We got love. Yeah. Police broke in my house, took my 38 grams of weed, and the next month they made that shit legal. Was that fucked up or what? Then gave me five years of probation. And while I was in there, they told me that it, nigga, if you'd have been working for the dispensary, you wouldn't be here. You out there trying to sell weed on your own and we ain't getting nothing from it. I said, yeah, I can't do that. I'm a social terrorist. I believe in defrauding the government out of their tax dollars. Fuck them. You know what I really think the government should do with some money? Is drop a bundle of that shit right here on Flamingo and we could be some terrorists. They could pay us to fight America then, couldn't they? Y'all ain't in for none of that. Fuck y'all there. I'm a veteran, okay? I'm a disabled American veteran, Vietnam era, if you haven't guessed it. But nowadays, thank you. It was my pleasure. See, you got to bring cooks to places like this. You have to have backup, you know. Y'all sure this ain't a, a gay place? But since everybody else is out the closet, I'm going to come out the closet because they say I got to go. I smoked crack, sold that shit. Y'all don't believe me, huh? Okay, well, y'all's a great team of people, and I love you guys sitting right down front. Y'all play that radio ready music. We're doing, uh, we're taking uh, music for upcoming uh, soundtracks for mo uh, movies. We're taking tracks for upcoming movies. So if you want to submit some of that um, street legal music you got, you know, the kind that ain't got no motherfuckers in it, no bitches, ain't talking about killing nobody, you know, see her. Be her. Because my neck is still sore. So I want to thank y'all for giving me this time. I'm going to come back next week and actually do comedy for y'all, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you.